U.S. home equity, and this is a very important metric, U.S. home equity hits highest level on record, $27.8 trillion. Soaring home prices have driven up home equity, but rising interest rates are making it more expensive to use and borrow. We'll talk about that in a bit. Look at the, the, the equity that is in people's homes, right? And this is something very, very important. Moving forward, there's a lot of interesting things of what may happen and, and some of the challenges of what you may see happen. So there's a lot of equity inside homes, right? The most that it has ever been. If you look at before, uh, in like the 2008 when things, why did things crash in 2008 in that time? Look at the equity that they had then. And look at the, look at the issue that has been going on actually since 2006, 2007. This is actually, I want you to share this clip and I'm going to make this a separate clip too. Because this is really important to see. When you actually look at the past, why do things go terribly wrong? If you actually remember it, things actually got terribly wrong in 2008, right? That's when everything imploded. And why did it implode? Because people were actually borrowing against uh, a home that was already negative in value at that time. I mean, look at these numbers of equity, right? In the worst of time, which is right the kind of the end of 2008, it was a negative $2.3 trillion, negative. So that means what people were doing back then, which was terrible, was they were getting loans for more than the value of their home. Do you understand why that was an absolute disaster and, and crazy back then? Right? Because if you think about it, if you were negative balance of your home and you could not pay off your home, why would you want to keep your home? Right? You have no skin in the game. You may as well just give up all your homes and reset the books by, by defaulting. And that's what happens. So this is a very important metric. I, I want you guys to also share it and see with others. Take a look at this negative 2.3 trillion. But look at the reverse now. At, at where we're at and where people everybody's hoping and banking on the, some, some magical recession bubble, uh, some magical housing bubble. You can see we have 4.62 trillion. That's a delta by you know 3x. And so even if the market declined, right, even if home prices cut in half, the cut in half delta is still very high, right? Then you still are at even the levels before. And there's a, that's a very big thing that people have to be aware of this time around is like a lot of people have a lot of equity in place. And so that's something to be mindful of. Number two, related to rising interest rates, like what can you do? Like the issue people have is, you know, let's say they're retiring and a lot of their money is in their their home. Well, you have options. You can still do a HELOC, which is a home equity line of credit. You can consider to do a refinance, but refinance are very difficult now because the question is why would somebody want to refinance a very low number that they had before just a few months ago to what it is now? So that is very difficult, right? And so it's kind of an interesting thing. Like really the only way people for, to really unlock that right now is to, uh, is to sell their place. But the issue that that that, is, that has come up, as you can imagine now, is if they sell their place, number one, where are they going to move to? And number two, uh, their interest rate just from affordability would, would be much, much more expensive. Combination of both their loan and combination of potentially of their property tax. And so it's an interesting kind of thing. So what does this mean, though? It means my prediction is that there will be less people moving, less people selling their homes, which is going to be a supply issue down the road because they have those things in place. So I, my guess is that you will see less new listings come up for that reason. But uh, we will see that my assumption over the course of the next few months for uh, because of, um, we'll see how that plays out. But that's my guess, uh, given what we see here. Thank you for watching this short on my YouTube channel. For more shorts, go ahead and click here. For more live streams, you can go ahead and click here. I'll see you the next one.